Here is a little video about the DATV Express prototype board. This is the first version and will be significantly changed in later versions. First we start off with the USB 2 connector which connects to the PC. Then we have a 24 MHz oscillator which is the oscillator that drives the Cypress USB controller. This is a Cypress CY7C68013A. The FIFO output from the Cypress controller goes to an Altera FPGA. The Altera FPGA is a Cyclone 2, an EPC82 an EP2C8T144. The FPGA then drives a analog devices dual channel D2A converter DAC. This is an AD9767. The analog output of the D2A converter goes through a 5 MHz low pass filter, both for the in phase and the quadrature channel. The output of the uh, filter then goes into an analog device's ADRF6750 modulator, IQ modulator, and fractional PLL synthesizer. The current board design will operate from 950 to 1570 megahertz. The version 2 of the board uses an ADRF6755. This has an extended frequency range of 100 to 2.4 gigahertz. The output of the IQ up converter goes into a mini circuits GVA84 plus amplifier the output of which goes into an SMA. As you can see an extra board has been added here because of slight problems with the original printed circuit board design. Also on this board we have the input power supply which can be from 12 volts to uh, sorry from 10 volts to about 18 volts the output of which goes into the power supply chips that provides all the various power supplies that are required for the different voltages on the board. This includes 5.5 volts, 5 volts, 3.3 volts and 1.2 volts. Also on this board is a JTAG connector. This is used with the Altera development environment and allows us to uh, do logic analysis of the board as well as loading and uh, code during development. In operation the code, the firmware for the FX2 controller and the firmware for the FPGA is downloaded from the host operator operating system from the host PC. The next version of the board should be available sometime in the new year. Now I'm going to show you the software, the Linux software that goes with the DATV Express board. First is the main screen. This shows the status of the system. The transmit queue shows how much information there is to be still to be transmitted. The null inserted indicates the number of null frames that are being null transport packets that are being inserted into the, uh, the transmission. The push to talk button causes the system to go to transmit. Also we have information telling us what mode we are transmitting, what symbol rate we are operating at, the number of megabits per second of video we are transmitting, the number of kilobits per second of audio that we're transmitting, the frequency that we're transmitting on, and the level. 
The next screen indicates the mode. This allows us to, to select DVBS, DVBS2, DVBT. DVBT2 is currently not implemented. Once we've selected the appropriate mode, we can then go into that mode and set the parameters. So in the case of DVBS, we can set the FEC rate. We support all the standard rates, a half, two thirds, three quarters, five sixths and seven eighths. If we were operating in DVBS2 mode, we also support HPSK modulation, QPSK modulation, 16 APSK and 32 APSK. We support all the various code rates in the current standard. One quarter, one third, two fifths, one half, three fifths, two thirds, three quarters, four fifths, five six, eight ninths and nine tenths. You get the idea. We also can select the roll off for the, uh, the filter, 0 0.35, 0 0.25 and 0 0.2. We can select the frame type. Currently, we only support normal frames. Although short frames have been implemented, they're just not operational. We can also allow pilot, fra pilot uh, symbols to be inserted in, this, in the um, transmission. In the case of DVB2, we support the 8K mode and the 2K mode. QPSK 16 QAM and 64 QAM modulation, the various guard periods 1 quarter, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth and 1 thirty second, FEC rates of a half, two thirds, three quarters, five sixths and seven eighths, and channels of 8 megahertz, 7 megahertz or 6 megahertz. The DVB2 is, has not been implemented yet. The transmit screen allows us to set the transmit frequency, the transmit level, which I shall reduce, and the symbol rate. We can also set the various PID values, and we can set the program information, the provider name, which is my, myself and the program name, which currently is the very inspiring channel 1. We can also set the electronic program guide. We can sp specify the duration of the program, the title of the program, and some information about the program. Finally, we have the hardware screen. From this we can set the capture device, the device type, whether it's a PVR150, a PVRHD, Firewire or UDP. We can also select the input port and we can select the transmitter we're using, whether it's Express, which is implemented, USRP2, which is implemented, Digilite, which is not in implemented, and UDP. The UDP interface allows us to separate the transmitter and the camera source so that we can stream video over, the, uh, over a local area network. This allows me to sit in the warm room showing my pictures whereas the transmitter is out in the cold transmitting. And there we have the DVB transmitter software that comes with DATV Express.